all of your diseases not some but all diseases thank you Jesus we give you thanks now another verse in Proverbs look in Proverbs chapter 4 again wonderful thing my son or my daughter why my son because the new creation in us is not uh, son or daughter it's like the angels there is no sex so that's why he says my son my son give attention to my words now give attention to the words of God do not listen to the people what they to talk about the word of God is important now I'm giving you words from the Bible the word of God incline your ear to my sayings maybe somebody else is is whispering in your ears do not listen listen to the word do not let them depart for you from your eyes keep them in the midst of your heart not what the doctor says not what the people say or the relatives but the words of God and then listen the promise oh the promise thank you Jesus for they are life the words of God the word of God look the words of God they are life <laughs> praise the Lord now when you read the words when you listen to the word of God the word contains life Jesus is the life he said I am the life and the resurrection and his word is word of life and resurrection even if some part in your body has died he can resurrect it he is the God of life and resurrection not of death and sickness this is a life this is a lie of the devil he is a God of life and resurrection and healing and freedom. Praise the Lord. Now he says, this is the promise here. They are the words, life to those who find them. If you find the words, you look to find, you have to seek. If you don't seek, you don't find. To find the words of God is not so easy they are like fish it is not easy to catch the fish now I'm talking can you catch the fish while I'm talking while you listen to the word of God can you catch it because you have to catch it not with this ear but with inner ears faith comes by hearing hearing inner hearing not just listening but hearing the voice of God hearing with your heart with the ear of your heart so their life for those who find them and health for all their flesh again all the flesh all the body from here down to the toys health for all the body and another translation said and uh, and medicine medicine for all of the body so the word of God is a medicine and brings health to your body while you eat it little by little it brings health because you see men shall not live by breath alone but by every word of God so you shall not live only by by natural bread or by natural medicines but it says you have spiritual bread which is for your spirit and you have also spiritual medicine which is for your spirit soul and body and this medicine is the word of God it is supplied you have to receive it with the breath of God we have to receive it with the Spirit of God because the Spirit quickens all things 
the spirit quickens the word and this letter here becomes life through the spirit of god you receive it and it becomes life in you you receive it and it becomes healing and health in you the word of god is magnific magnificent the word of god is living and powerful sharper do, than any any sword sharp two edged sword sharper it pierces to the division soul and body and uh, joints and and, and marrows and and searches the thoughts of the heart so you see the word of god is living it is powerful praise the lord for the word and now we have read friends isaiah 53 i'm not going to read this verse i i'm going to read probably only two verses more uh, one is in uh, jeremiah which is again wonderful verse i like the bible because it is not skeptical like some people uh, skeptical about everything now the bible there is no skepticism there is only faith faith comes from the bible skepticism from the thoughts of man skepticism from the devil but the bible brings faith and without faith we cannot please god because if we come to god we have to come number one with faith that he exists and number two that he rewards he rewards there is a reward in searching the bible there is a reward of receiving the word there is a reward because you are listening now there is a reward somebody will say oh why why are you listening to some bulgarian he's not american he's not english but why not because in the kingdom of god there is no nation nationality in the kingdom of god there is new creation we are equal and what matters is the anointing of the holy spirit what matters is faith it doesn't matter from where i come if the lord gives me an anointing and he gives me faith that you may be healed let it be in jesus name and sometimes he's going to preach and speak to you through a donkey and many are not ready to listen to the donkey they are not ready to listen because they want some somebody famous to do it but the lord can do miracles even through donkeys praise the lord so it is not the clay it is not the earthly vessel but it is the treasure that is in the vessel that matters so we have this treasure in earthen vessel that it may be obvious for everybody that it is not from a man it is not from the earth it is from above it is from the treasure that he put placed in us that he does the miracles praise the lord and now jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 says for oh this is promise friends listen not as men but as god speaking because this is the word of god under the anointing of the holy spirit don't you believe that believe in jesus name believe in jesus name let the lord give you spirit of faith to believe for i will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds says the lord praise the lord now again double promise listen to it very important the lord says i will restore health to you he speaks here about physical healing he is going to restore your body he says i'm going to restore to restore health to you to you you say maybe for another man or for another lady not for me because i'm not worthy he says to you 
it is not by works it is by grace you are not worthy anyways but it is a gift a mercy from God to you I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds and here he speaks healing of the inner wounds now here he he shows us two kinds of healing healing of the physical body and healing of the inner wounds because many people have pain and wounds in the heart in the soul in the emotions and they need to be healed from inside many times before you be healed outside you need to be healed inside some have grief sorrow depression they have uh, bitterness unforgiveness the Lord wants to take all of it away from you in order to heal you and restore you physically because no curse shall come without a reason I just want to say that because many times we have to find first the reason why and then to receive the healing this is in Proverbs 26 2 it says a curse without a cause shall not alight so we have to remo remove the cause the reason for the sickness sometimes that the sickness may be removed and healing to take place and sometimes the the reason is spiritual or something in the soul of man sometimes Jesus healed the people by casting out a demon even in in one case in Luke you can see a lady who was twisted down and uh, had a spine problem and uh, sh she was bent and uh, she couldn't stand uh, stand right and uh, and then uh, uh, Jesus said that and, uh, and 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 the word of God says that she had spirit of infirmity in her body this was a spirit and Jesus said woman you are free of your infirmity so she received freedom and then he laid hands upon her and she was healed so this time the spirit that was in the spine was the reason why she was sick this is in the Bible uh, I I'm not going to read this verse now but some other time I'm going to read it and now the last verse before our prayer that I'm going to read is in Malachi, Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 but to you who fear my name the son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings in his wings son of righteousness the son of righteousness Jesus Christ he brings righteousness the son of righteousness shall arise with healing righteousness with healing righteousness with healing go together sin with sickness go together righteousness with healing go together so he said the son of righteousness with healing in his wings praise the Lord and then the New Testament is full of promises and actions and Jesus said fear not only believe and you shall be healed and he said also he said everything is possible for him who believe everything is possible for him who believes so if you believe all things are possible to you just receive by faith you may have now to to, to do some action of faith while we are praying you may have to do some action of faith to receive your healing up to now I don't have any prayer request 
probably because we don't know each other yet and so on but anyway I'm going to pray for you and some of you may God delivered or healed during this prayer it will be a pleasure and privilege for us to receive a praise report of what has happened to you during the prayer and for the next service I will ask you to say to tell your friends and let your friends that need healing or deliverance come on the service that they may receive that they may receive their healing in Jesus name now thank you father thank you father in 